nine minutes. You don't realize it until you actually have to sit through it. Now let's talk about what happened at 7.39 and the 9 I'm going to bring up some points before that. We know that Mike Black, on November 9, 2015, was shot from a distance. And how do we know that? Because the medical examiner, Dr. Shaw, tells us that. We know that he shot outside of his house, on the very side of the house, which is dark. Again, how do we know that? Because Detective Murray, who's first to arrive on scene, tells us it's very dark. So what does that tell us, ladies and gentlemen? That tells us that there's a chance that Michael Black didn't even recognize the shooter, or he didn't even see the shooter. Because remember, one of the things that his oldest child states is that there was a man with a flashlight. And if somebody is shining a flashlight at you, you're not going to be able to see. We know that. That's common sense. He says he was shot in the back. And we know he was shot in the chest. Michael Black lying to us during his test during his statement to 911. He's not. He's not lying to us. He's confused. Due to the severity of his wounds, due to the drugs in his system, he is confused. So in his mind, on the 911 call. His original statement when asked, who shot you? I'm not sure. Some man named Wolf. He didn't say, Wolf did it. He didn't say it that way, ladies and gentlemen. He said it like he was unsure. Because his first statement, that's the truth coming out of him. Then at some point, Maybe his mind's playing games with him. He's been seriously injured. He's has drugs in his system. He's got alcohol. He's got narcotics. Is it possible, ladies and gentlemen, that his mind goes back to the text messages that he's having with Horton about Wolf? text messages that he sends to Wolf's wife, the woman that he's sleeping with, among other women who may have had other people who may have wanted to injure him as well, one of them being Mike Robinson. Now, he never says, Wolf did it. I saw Wolf. Wolf shot me. And remember, this was not a close range shot. Remember again, it's November. It's late at night. It's dark. Again, he says, when asked, I'm not sure a man named Wolf. It's almost like he's making up a story. I'm not sure a man named Wolf. It's not him saying, I saw him do it. Wolf came here and he shot me. That's not what he says. His first statement when asked, who shot you, is, I'm not sure. Somewhere <coughs> in the 911 call, he says, I know exactly who did it. It's Wolf. But that's not his original statement. And we know that. You heard the 911. Why is there a problem with that? Because if he knew exactly who did it, if he saw the person who shot him, he would have said, Wolf did it. Not, I'm not sure. He would have said, Wolf did it. So think about it. Michael Black is talking with Courtney about finding somebody who can fuck up Wolf for cheap. 
He knows he's having an affair with Courtney. He knows he's got issues with Wolf. He knows Wolf probably has issues with him. We know that Michael Black is all over the house. We know he's more than likely confused from the severity of his injury and from the drugs in his system. I submit to you that he probably didn't realize he was dying. He probably thought he was going to live. And what better way to get rid of Dennis than to say, I'm not sure Wolf did it. And maybe he honestly thought Wolf did it because of everything that was going on in his life, all the drama that was going on in his life. Wolf was the last person on his mind. Wolf was the person that he was planning with Courtney to hurt. Remember, I asked the 911 caller, did you ask his first name? And she says yes, he asked. And what was his response? Don't know, don't know. But we heard testimony from Keith that he knew his, <coughs> his first name. His, he knew his name was Dennis. Ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you, if somebody points a gun at you and you watch them shoot you in the chest, you are not going to respond, I'm not sure, some man named Wolf. You're going to say, effing Wolf did it. Wolf shot me. Not, I'm not sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we know he had drugs in his system. We know that through this 911 call, his first response when asked who did this was, I'm not sure some man named Wolf. There are some other inconsistencies in his 911 call. He originally gives an address of 5908 as his first address before giving 5906. He says he got shot in the back when we know he got shot in the chest. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is reasonable doubt. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, you can tell from the point that that bullet entered his body and left his body that he doesn't even realize where he was shot. That proves that his mind was not in the right place. And that should be an issue for you, ladies and gentlemen. And if you believe his statement that he got shot in the back, then he wouldn't know who shot him. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to take everything into account about Michael Block and his statement, Let's forget about the narcotics that he had in his system. Let's forget about the text messages between him and Courtney trying to arrange someone to hurt Dennis. Let's take into account the first words out of Michael Black's mouth when asked who did it. I'm not sure. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you return a verdict of not guilty on all counts.